Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch RC channel and as you can see I've got the Hobson H501S advanced advanced out today and we'll be doing GPS tests with this uh, quadcopter. I'll test all four GPS functions of this quadcopter and that is uh, the uh, position hold, uh, the auto return home, uh, the fail safe and the follow me. So yeah, that's what we'll be uh, assessing or testing today. And um, let's see. Yeah, the first thing we'll test is the position hold. And as you can see, it's on an intersection of lines over here. And I'll take off with GPS lock on. Take it up very far, uh, 100 meters or so. And uh, then uh, we'll uh, have it uh, descend again. And it should land at approximately the intersection of these two lines again. So let's try that. Um, let's see, I have uh, 12 satellites on both the quadcopter and the transmitter. I hope that's at all visible. I'm not sure. I can't, <laughs> I can't see what you're seeing. <laughs> okay. Um, GPS lock on. And uh, we uh, arm uh, the quadcopter. Uh, okay. Uh, today it isn't very windy. So that's nice. And uh, let me actually uh, record the ascending and descending as well. Start recording. Okay, we are recording and let's take it up. Okay, we're at uh, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 meters. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for a few seconds so you can uh, assess the, the actual uh, recording footage. Uh, yeah, this looks good to me. Um, I'm having a look at the screen at the moment as well. Act, uh, you can uh, see a, a heading, so a compass heading. And a speed, which is uh, negligible, negli negligible <laughs> sorry, at the moment. Uh, and uh, an elevation, which is uh, 105, 106 meters at the moment. My uh, FEV feed is very good at the moment. Very good. No interference at all. That's nice. Okay, so we're uh, doing GPS tests here, so I'll uh, descend. Here we go. 199, 98, 96. Uh, okay, uh, descending uh, is done a slightly slower, which is uh, smart. Less uh, prop wash wobble. There is a little bit of prop wash wobble as you can probably tell. Okay, we're at 60 meters. 50. 40. 30. 30, 30. 20. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to my head cam now so we can assess where it, uh, see where it lands. Uh, there uh, the quadcopter uh, comes. Uh, okay. Well, how much is that? That is less than a meter away from uh, our takeoff position. Very nice. Okie dokie. Well, and the next thing we'll do is um, the auto home feature. So uh, I've switched the GPS feature off now. So I'm just gonna fly it away from me. I'm at uh, 100% rates at the moment by the way. So we're pretty far away now. Uh, okay, now I engage the 
GPS position hold mode. You do need to be in a GPS lock mode to have it auto home. So, and over here is the home switch. So we'll switch that up. As you can see, I now have the GPS switch up and the home switch up. And uh, apart from that, I am not touching any controls. And sure enough, the quadcopter is returning to us at a very good speed, actually, quite fast. Okay, and it shoots auto land as well. It's uh, pretty close to the intersection of those two lines again. Very nice. Yes, that's good enough. Um, it doesn't auto uh, disarm, by the way, after landing. Oh, I'm going, I'm going to switch the auto home off now. One, one and three quarters of uh, a meter. Pretty good. Um, yeah. Every time it has a little more deviation, I'm not sure. Okay, and the next thing we'll do is uh, the we'll, we'll test the the fail safe. And I'm gonna take a chance with the quadcopter here. I'm gonna fly it away, and then I'm going to switch the transmitter off, and it shoot again, fly on back to us. So yeah, this might uh, have me lose my $300 quadcopter. Let's see what happens. Uh, the quadcopter is quite a bit slower in GPS lock, by the way. I am still in uh, GPS lock at the moment. Okay, it is uh, hovering in place. And we are going to switch the transmitter off. Here we go. And sure enough, our quadcopter is at least doing something. Yes, it's returning to us. Again, at a pretty good speed. Faster than I had expected. Quite a lot faster than the 502, the H502S as well. Transmitter is still off. And again, it should land on us. Let's see if we have even more of a deviation. No, it doesn't look like it. Actually, it looks uh, more precise this time. Transmitter still off. Yes, and uh, we are about one meter away from the, the intersection. Great! That worked out very, very well. Um, a small little test in between. In my um, show and tell of this quadcopter, I... Uh, Showed you. Oh, I should uh, disengage the the home. No. Oh, huh, maybe I should uh, <laughs> switch my transmitter back on. That'll help. Okay. Do I have uh, control again? Yes, I have control again. Uh, let's uh, engage the GPS lock. Okay. In my show and tell of this quad, I was flying it at around 60% throttle. And let me show you what the quad flies like at a hundred percent. As you can probably tell, it is quite a bit faster now. It's still not a bris blisteringly fast quadcopter, but this this is pretty good. Okay. Last of the GPS tests. We are gonna try and have the quadcopter follow us. I'm gonna walk to the edge of the field here. Okay, GPS lock on. And give it a little more altitude. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna start recording. I am in view, so it seems. Record. 
Okay, and now uh, you switch the follow me feature on by with this B switch. B. There we go. And it should now follow the transmitter. Sure enough, it does follow me. Let's do a little walking. Yep, I am being followed, followed all right. <laughs> okay, uh, just like uh, the, the other follow me Hobsons, it doesn't rotate on its axis to follow me. It keeps the exact heading it had. But it does, uh, it does a better job as the H502S at uh, following. It's less jerky, it's, it's far more uh, smoother in the following. Very nice. Um, am I still in picture? Ah, hardly. Can I uh, correct that? Okay, I have yawed the quadcopter around a little. Yeah, and if I do so, it bails out of the following. All right. Well, that worked out pretty well, and I was uh, happy uh, there was a little less wind today, of course. Um, especially the, 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 the failsafe is great. If you uh, lose sight of your quadcopter for any reason, yeah, just uh, switch on the auto home or even switch off your transmitter and it will return to you. Ok, cool stuff man. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do one more video uh, with this uh, Hobson. And in that video I'll assess its FPVing capabilities. Um, if this makes for a... Yeah, especially the lag. It is a full HD camera. Does it have a lot of lag? Can you FPV, for instance, proximity fly with this quadcopter around trees, like over there? And uh, I... Oh, damn! Have a look at this, man! It is now rock solid on a non-windy day. Very, very nice. Yep, this quadcopter works out well. And it looks good doing so. <laughs> okay, um, hope uh, this was uh, somewhat uh, informative for you or entertaining, who knows. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.